So you've probably searched for the best web scraping tool and either it's free and barely works or it's paid and burns through your budget really fast. Over the past 10 years, I've tried every web scraper tool out there. Some gave me barely any usable data, some even got me blocked. But as of August 2025, if you ask me, what's the best free web scraper? The answer is you need to use DeepSeek's R1 model combined with crawl for ai Now, this workflow that I've built with them is really simple and has been helping me scrape thousands of websites in just hours and get some really high quality leads from them. So that's what I'll show you today. If you don't know, this entire channel and video is brought to you by our very own product, Malcare, is the most complete website security and we've made a special free plan for our community that I'll link below. Now, getting back to the tutorial, first, we need to install all the tools that we need for this process. So we will be using Cursor as our IDE, which basically means that this is the program where we write and run our code and crawl for AI, which is an open source web crawler that can visit websites, pull their data and pass it on to our AI models for processing. So first, let's go to cursor.com and then download cursor. Now, once that's installed, head over to the crawl for AI GitHub and copy the clone URL. Now inside cursor, open the AI agent, type clone this repo, paste the URL, hit enter, and it will pull all the files into your workspace. Now, you can use crawl for AI in two ways. You can run a virtual environment or you can use Docker, which runs the scraper in a self-contained container and makes it easier to manage or delete things if you ever need to reset. So if you're unsure, just use Docker. It's the easier way to do it. Next, we're going to set up the API keys for each AI model so the crawler can send data to them and get results back. So let's start with DeepSeek. Go to DeepSeek's API platform go to the API key section, click create API key, and then copy it. Now for Grok3, go to console.x.ai, create a new key, and store it. Now for ChatGPT5, log into your OpenAI API platform, click create new secret key, and save it. Now, all three keys will go into your environment variables or your .env file later. This keeps them hidden from your code and secure from anyone else. Now, most websites you want to crawl will have some sort of bot protection, things like Google reCAPTCHA or anti-bot systems that will flag you if you send too many requests. The easiest way to get around that is with a rotating proxy. This routes your requests through a pool of different IP addresses. So instead of all of your traffic looking like it's coming from one source, it's spread over hundreds. Now, I've personally used Evomi and Bright Data for rotating proxies, and no, this isn't sponsored, I wish, but no, I just like how useful they are. Now, once you set up one in your crawler, all your scraping requests will automatically route through it, keeping your IP safe. Another thing to keep in mind is the context window. This is how much information an AI model can process at once. If you feed it too much, it will start dropping older parts of the data. That's why I use the biggest context window I can for processing the raw data, DeepSeek R1 has 64K, ChatGPT5 has 32K, so R1 can handle much bigger data sets in one go. And of course, check the pricing before running very large scraping jobs. Grok3 is around 30 cents per million input tokens and about 50 cents for output, while DeepSeek R1 is still one of the cheapest options for large scale scraping. Prices change often, so always check the API docs first. Once everything's ready, it's time to scrape data. For this example, I'm going to scrape real estate sites because they're one of the easiest niches to get rich contact form data from. And you can tell the crawler to target a specific site and then run the tool. Now, when the crawler finishes, the raw output is just HTML. So it's tags, divs, and random scripts. That's where the AI model takes over. It'll clean the data, fix the formatting, and then make it usable for outreach. Now, I always export the clean data in three formats. Markdown, if I want to send it back into an AI later. JSON, if I want structured data for automation tools. And CSV, if I'm uploading directly into a platform like instantly. So from there, it's just drag and drop. I import the CSV into instantly, map the columns like name, email, and personalized line. And instantly, I have a ready to send cold email campaign. With proxies in place and the AI models working together, you can repeat this process over and over, scraping fresh, targeted leads without worrying about blocks or messy formatting. Now, getting these leads is just the first step. You actually need to convert them as well. At some point, they will check your website, even if it's to fill a contact form or something else. 
And if it's a slow loading one with a bad user experience, it's going to really hurt your brand and your conversions as well. So basically having 90 plus page speed is super important. And we've built a free tool that does exactly this for you. And it's automated. And I'm demoing this in the next video, which also has 100,000 views, by the way. So I'd recommend you check that out next.